Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for some more CMS 2018. So what we are doing today is starting over. Um, basically, I just uh, uploaded a video yesterday of a tour of the garage and my project idea for the next series after Project Health Mino, which was going to be this, uh, pardon me, modded Subaru Brat. Uh, oh, sorry, it is a mod for the game, which uh, I think is just a really cool car. Uh, I'm not into the foreign cars, but uh, this is a four-wheel drive Subaru that's lifted up. I definitely think it's a cool car. But unfortunately, the touring video, the stripped-down video, and the complete rebuild on the engine video, I did all back-to-back. -back. Did three videos in a row, uploaded the first video, and when I went to watch it, uh, rookie mistake, my mic was not recording. So I had no voice. So time to start over. So, since Project Hell Camino, um, they've had the tuning DLC, which I went over in the last video. I can't remember what I said, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying the engine upgrades, um, being able to actually dyno the car and uh, make more horsepower, tune it. Um, this is a 93 Mustang Cobra, which is also a mod. Uh, my dad had one identical to this, actually, at, at the time I got my license and pretty much the same color. Well, as close as I could get it anyways. So I'm kind of doing this car in uh, homage to that. Anyways, it's almost finished. It's painted. It just needs to be uh, interior done, glass put in, taillights, whatever. And it's... Uh, Good to go for a test drive. Uh, the Subaru Brat, as you can see, is well along its way. Uh, I really wanted the series to be on this. I was going to call it Bratzilla. And uh, unfortunately, that just didn't work out. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm just going to basically finish this off screen and uh, maybe show you guys a video on the off-road course because I haven't yet tried that out because I haven't done an off-road vehicle until now. Um, this car, I explained in the last video as well, that had no voice, is my junkyard project. So I bought the car from the junkyard and I'm building it completely and solely from the junkyard. So every piece, every body panel that you see on this, I found in the junkyard and was able to repair it. Aside from certain parts that cannot be found, or sorry, can be found in the junkyard but cannot be repaired. So stuff like glass and seats and um, spark plugs and wires, stuff like that. Anything like that I did have to buy for the car because I still want to 100% this uh, when it's done rather than putting used stuff from the boneyard on that will drop the percentage of the car. I still want it to be 100% so certain things I had to buy. But basically if it can be bought or if it can be found and repaired, I have found it and repaired it. Every panel. Um, every the engine block itself, uh, the heads, uh, crank, everything, camshaft, um, missing a few things, waiting to find a timing cover and an intake and a carburetor, um, certain things like that. So I can continue on. Actually, I think I have on my last one. I think I found an exhaust manifold. One of them, anyways. Yeah, I found one. Perfect. We'll just go ahead and slap this on. We'll one step closer to uh, completing this project. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I need a new project. Um, and basically I would like you guys to choose it. If anybody watches this video, I'd like to choose between this um, Plymouth Roadrunner over here. I believe it's a Roadrunner or a GTX and a Pontiac GTO. Uh, both are muscle cars, but this one here is more modernized. Uh, I've noticed just by looking, it's got a rear disc conversion. Um, looks like 18 to 20, 20 inch wheels probably. Uh, I noticed they put an ABS module with this car, which this car wouldn't have had. I'm guessing it's for the brake updates. And uh, 
so yeah so this is kind of like old school new rules and this is just straight up old school um, so I'd like you guys to comment which one you'd like to see me do a complete tear down and rebuild on and uh, maybe a possible name for said project if you can think of something clever um, can't really think of anything off the top of my head right now but yeah, like this one could be Project Old School New Rules, for example, which is actually, uh, I like that. And uh, the GTO, I'm not too sure. It's definitely old school muscle car, running uh, probably small block chef with the triple deuce for the looks of it. So it's six pack, I think this game calls it. Yeah, six pack, so a lot of triple deuces on top. Um, yeah, so I would like to do either one of these cars next. Um, <clears throat> geez, I forget exactly what I went over in the last video now because it was a long enough video and unfortunately for me, um, three videos now, I basically have to scrap. Really wanted to do this Subaru, but like I said, I'll do a video once it's all together and paint it. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this color or not. Uh, once the wheels and everything are on, she's ready to drive, I will be the first run on the off-road course, and uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride, if that's something you'd like to see. Uh, so to finish off the tour, I guess, because my last one was a garage tour, um, not much has changed, still stock in a pile of uh, parts in the warehouse, I'm a hoarder, mostly body parts and rims. Um, basically, if it's a muscle car part of any sort, I basically buy it, repair it, and if it repairs, I stick it in the warehouse. Uh, so let's go check out the parking garage. Now, if these are long load screens, I'm going to cut the video. And, uh, yeah, because it seems to take a long time to load in, and I don't want you guys staring at a black screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first floor first. And uh, I will meet you guys in the parking garage. Alright, so here we are in parking garage one. Just giving you a tour of the cars that I've collected so far. Uh, right here we got the uh, Chief 10, I think they call it. Chief 10. Basically, supposed to be a 69 GTO. Yeah, Chief 10 TVX 2C. Uh, I've had this car actually, it was one of the first one I bought, I just keep skipping over it and, um, because I had two different games at one point and I've already done one of these so I keep skipping it over. Uh, these supercharged reptilias, I've got uh, three in a row. I've already done one, sold it, there's actually a video on it uh, if you wanted to check that out. But basically because body parts on these are for some reason I find plentiful in the junkyards. I always, I can basically build these cars for next to nothing. I stock the superchargers and everything in the warehouse and most of these V8 parts. Uh, so they, they are a good money maker because they're worth about 100,000 uh, fixed up. So every time I see one, I snag it up. This one I found in a barn and is in a lot better shape, but basically still requires a complete tear down and rebuild to get your money's worth out of it. However, finding them in the barn, um, you're not missing the body panels, so you, you can strip this car down and basically end up with more repaired parts and less hunting to do. Uh, also a barn find is a Challenger from the Dodge DLC. Um, I would really like to do this car just because I'm a GM man, or a Chevy fan, I guess you would say. Um, but Dodge is a really close second for me. They made some really nice cars. Um, definitely worthy of the muscle car area. Or era, sorry. Yeah, Ford had theirs too, but uh, my second would be Dodge. Uh, next to the Challenger, we got a Charger, which I've already done one of these and did uh, basically a mock-up of the 68 Charger from Christine. Uh, I mentioned in that video, 68 is my favorite year due to the round tail lights and the no split in the grill in the front. Uh, so I bought another one to do my way, with the way I would do it if it were mine. I did the other one like a movie, and if I get around to it, this one will be done my way. 
Um, and another Spectre. I forget why I picked this up. I really don't remember why. Oh, I think it was going to do a Bullet Edition. Yeah, from the movie Bullet. But now I might actually use... Uh, no, I'll probably use this one. Like this, this, this. Anyways, uh, another Barn Fine Camaro. These were actually hard enough to find with a V8. Also ran line 6, and this is a dual car V8. So more like the Z28 Camaro. The interior definitely mimics the Z28 Camaro. No questions what this car was modeled after. I guess there was licensing issues, issues with uh, GM, because we can't seem to get a GM. Um, DLC. Mazda RX-7. don't know why I picked it up. Really, it's just a rotary engine one. Anyways, it's here. Uh, Luxor Bowen. I'm a big Caddy fan in real life. Love Cadillacs. So uh, that's why I picked it up. Uh, this is another modded car. And it's a Shelby GT500. I believe. Yeah, 2013 GT500. Supercharged. Uh, I figure it'll probably fetch me a good coin. And uh, it's a sharp car. So I'm going to do that one in the future as well. This one was my last barn find, actually, and I really thought it was cool to see a Gasser GTO. Um, this one I'm probably going to fix and not sell, because that's just a really cool looking car. In fact, I think I'm going to snap a picture of that. Maybe use it as the thumbnail for this video, because it's more for the video when I restore this, because to me that is just a kick-ass looking car. Um, it says 65 GTO, but to me it looks more like the 66 or 67s. Now, I could be wrong on that. I have to go by the taillights going straight across. I guess it could be a 65. I thought 64 and 65 were the same. Anyways, correct me on that if I'm wrong. I know 66 and 67 look like this as well, then, if that's the case. Uh, so that's it for this floor, I think. I will cut to floor number two, because you can't just walk up here, which I think they should really do, is just let you walk up here to the next floor of your garage. Uh, but unfortunately, we got to go through two loading screens to get there. So give me one second, and I'll meet you on the second floor. All right, welcome to floor number two of the parking garage. Uh, before we get started, to correct myself from floor number one, that is a 1965 GTO. The taillights on the 65 do go straight across, and the uh, 66 is actually quite a bit different in the rear quarter panel and uh, the taillights, as well as the 67 is different taillights as well. So I was wrong. It's most definitely a 65 with a straight across taillight. However, 66 to me looks better. Anywho, on with the video. So, starting in the corner, we have another uh, Project Tel Camino or Bolt Atlanta Trespasser. Uh, I found this in the scrapyard and I picked it up and said, hey, what the heck. Um, really cool car. Uh, this is a 67 Mustang. Spectre, as they are called in this game. I Basically, this is the first car I ever completed in uh, in this game, and basically modeled it after the uh, Mustang off of the Motor City Online covers. And uh, put Stang Bang as the uh, <laughs> license plate Stang Bang. I, I gotta take the screen off of that. That's good. I forgot I did that, actually. Uh, Project Hell Camino, sitting out here collecting some dust. You can see the customized license plate, Hell Camino. Uh, it's also the triple deuce setup under here. Lots of power, looking good. I wish they really would have put uh, four wheel drive axles in this to make it a four by four, but it's actually two wheel drive. Uh, and then we got my uh, Bandit, Chieftain Bandit. Uh, which is Pontiac Trans Am, no questions. Um, I didn't customize the license plate, I'm not sure why, I should want DAM1. Uh, might go back and do that, actually. 
Yeah, so anyways, um, if any of you know me in real life or uh, know previous videos, I actually own an 81 Trans Am. And this is basically my end goal, is black with the gold bird on the hood, I refinished the rims. Uh, you can watch that video too. Uh, so yeah, I undead undoubtedly had to do the closest thing to a Trans Am in this game, and that would be that car. Alright, down to two guys, down to two. Hope this isn't too dry. I'm trying to do my best to make it interesting. Uh, so, coming along in the junkyard, blah, 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 I'm trotting the lane, I look, and, oh yeah, I forgot, I got that uh, RX-7 DLC, and uh, my buddy, uh, one of my buddies owned one of these cars when I was just at high school, it was a really cool car with the rotary engine, his was an 87, this is a, well, it doesn't give me a year, but I would say it's 86, 87, something like that. I'm not sure, I'm not a master guy. So first thing I spot is that the car is a right-hand drive. So well, that's different. And then as I'm looking for the steering wheel, I did exactly, how did I do that? I noticed this big engine. So I look and, oh, it's a V8 RX-7. Always, when my buddy had one, I said we should V8 the car. Uh, and here it is, it's a double overhead cam, supercharged, 700 horsepower RX-7. This thing would be absolutely deadly in real life. Uh, I can't imagine 700 horsepower in an RX-7, uh, but it would be something like sticking a 454 in your lawn tractor. So yeah, we're going to do this one up. And last but not least, uh, from the Plymouth DLC, I just finished this uh, 71, 70 Barracuda. <laughs> Again, it doesn't give the year. I'm going to say 70, 71 Barracuda. Uh, it is the uh, actual Dodge Hemi underneath, or Plymouth Hemi. Uh, they had them all. These were uh, Dodge's big boy on the block, along with their 446 pack. But uh, definitely a deadly engine. You wanted something big if you came up against a Hemi in real life. Perhaps an LS6 Chevelle, and even then, Dodge had uh, one of the best... Uh, one of the best formulas, I'd say, for a muscle car, and that's, uh, you know, to hell with luxury and comfort, uh, let's make the car as light as possible and stuff, the biggest possible engine we can handle. GM was all about making good power out of the big blocks, too, however, they called them Heavy Chevy for a reason. Uh, Chevy wanted to give you a little bit of comfort and uh, bells and whistles to go with that power, so unfortunately, ended up usually outweighing the Dodges and Fords. Not underpowered, just weed. Anyways, the factory color was this brown. I was going to paint it uh, the classic lime green or heavy orange. Uh, but as I went on, I actually uh, I didn't mind the chocolate brown with the flat black hemi uh, look. Uh, yeah, so that is it for parking lot level two. We'll go back to the garage and wrap this up as quick as possible. All right, so here we are, back in the garage, ready to get back to work, get our hands dirty, so to speak. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's getting kind of long. So yeah, again, if you guys could comment in the comment section, tell me which car you'd like to see, what you'd like to call it. Um, also, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, questions, taking pictures of your girlfriend, whatever you want to do, either post it in the comments. I try to reply to every comment I get because I don't get that many of them. So any comment down in there, whether it's a dislike, whether it's a like, is uh, a plus to me. No such thing as bad publicity. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, yeah, hope to hear from you. And I will be back on the next video with uh, whichever project you guys choose. All right. Have a good day, guys.